It's hard for Mark Shavs to put into words why he loves to surf. It's really hard to explain because it's something you have to experience. And to him, his passion is worth traveling for. If that was almost the epicenter of your life outside of your family, you'd understand the drive to go somewhere else to be able to do it. Three to four times a year, this retired military man says he takes a group trip out of the country in hopes of finding good waves. This is a picture from Mark and his surf buddies on their latest trip to Panama. But it's a trip that almost didn't happen. And we fly exclusively on Spirit, whether it's to the Caribbean or to Central America, because their prices are always very low and the flights themselves are always fine. Mark and his friends originally booked tickets to Nicaragua on June 2nd. Six days later, the U.S. State Department issued a travel advisory asking travelers to reconsider travel to Nicaragua due to crime, civil unrest, and limited health care availability. So I contacted Spirit to try to change our destination. Staying on Spirit, paying whatever the difference would be for a flight, and uh, they would only do it if they upcharges the service charge. That service fee was $125 per ticket. After speaking with two customer service representatives who offered no way to rebook without fees, he reached out to NBC6 Response. And this was a perfect example of just another big company not caring about their customers, especially their safety. Spirit Airlines policy for travel advisories is to allow guests with existing reservations to affected regions to change their travel plans without additional rebooking cost. An airline representative described what happened as a possible oversight by their guest relations representative. Two days after we first reached out to Spirit Airlines, Mark's group was able to rebook their tickets without a fee. It's, it's very nice that NBC intervened and helped us with this, but the truth is Spirit should have done this on their own. Spirit Airlines told us they were happy to resolve the situation for their guests and appreciate NBC6 bringing this to their attention. They're in the process of reiterating their travel advisory policies to all of their guest relations representatives to ensure a similar situation does not occur in the future. It's nice that uh, we were able to save that additional $125 or more for these tickets. Mark says now he can focus on what matters most to him. Surfing is a great release for emotional stress. It makes you happy.